Okay, is there sound now? Hopefully there's sound. Hey everybody, what I was trying to explain is that I am at home doing this Facebook Live alone for the first time. Uh, so there we go with our technical difficulties. It's why I'm a few minutes late and why there was no sound to begin with. So anyway, um, last time we had some technical difficulties with the Mevo that I was using and it dropped out uh, twice in the middle of the Facebook Live. So we switched over to something called Zoom and I'm thankfully able to run it by myself at home, but had a few technical difficulties doing so. So hopefully we'll be good to go here. Anyway, for those of you who are brand new to me and are not familiar with you with me, I want you to know that I'm Dr. Amy Myers. I'm the medical director of Austin Ultra Health. I'm a functional medicine physician, and I'm the New York Times bestselling author of The Autoimmune Solution and The Thyroid Connection. Um, I want you guys to uh, say where you're from. Uh, I'd love to tell you hello. I think that I can actually see me talking. I can also see, um, I think I can also see you guys beginning to say hello. Yes. No sound. No sound. All right. Amen, Larry. Amen. Yes. All right. Everybody can hear me now. So um, if you want to say hello, um, I will um, give you a little shout out. Say hello. Be sure to share this with anybody that you think would be interested in learning more about collagen. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. So say hello and tell me where you're from and I'll say hello back um, to as many of you as I can. And of course, as always, at the end of this, I will be answering your questions. Oh, hey, Caroline from Columbia. Caroline and I went to college together. So glad that you're here. Uh, Carrie from Cochranville, Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania. We've got Devi from Miami. Uh, uh, we have Sharon from Texas. Uh, so, wow, we have uh, we have somebody from Germany, uh, Kelsey from Albuquerque. Great. So, so glad that you guys are here. Remember, at the end, I'm going to be answering your questions. So be sure to, um, after a bit, begin typing those in. And as usual, we might have a special guest come in and tell us hello, just so you can see how she's progressing and how big she has gotten. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm talking about my daughter, who is um, 11 weeks old now. So, and she's growing like a little weed and um, yeah. Okay, so let's get started everybody with what in the world is collagen? So y'all have probably, if you are attuned to Facebook and the internet, you have probably been seeing collagen popping up all over the place, particularly those people who are following an autoimmune uh, paleo diet, the Myers way, uh, a paleo diet in general, you've probably heard a lot about collagen. Many of you all might be familiar with its, um, you know, aiding in, you know, good skin and hair and nails. So you've probably seen it all over the beauty aisles, but now it's really starting to pop up in all kinds of articles on Facebook. You're seeing everybody promoting their collagen. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of dive into what exactly is collagen? What is this whole rage all about? So collagen actually comes from the Greek word cola, which is uh, meaning glue. And it's a fibrinous protein that's found throughout our body um, and in our organs, our skin, our hair, our muscles, our teeth, tendon joints. It's everywhere. It's kind of the glue that's keeping everything together. Um, and there are a lot of different types of collagen, but the one that we're going to be talking about today is type one collagen. Nearly 90% of our body or 90% of the collagen in our body is made up of type one collagen. And gram for gram, it's even stronger than steel. So that really gives you some idea about how it's really holding our body together. And as we age, um, naturally, we begin to deplete our collagen stores. And by 40, they begin to deplete more quickly than we can actually, our body can reproduce it. And by 60, we've lost nearly half of it. And so a lot of people are wondering, you know, can you take collagen and will that have the same effect? And the answer is yes. And I'm going to tell you a lot of benefits that collagen can have. Now, when it's in skin creams and things like that, I cannot speak to that. I don't know how well it's absorbed through the skin. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I basically use Dr. Bronner's um, to wash my face. So I don't use any of those anti-aging serums or anything like that. So I can't speak from personal experience, but I can speak from personal experience as well as experience of working with literally thousands of patients in my clinic um, using collagen as a supplement. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. 
And if you know me, you know, I love the gut and I'm always talking about leaky gut because if you have an autoimmune condition or a thyroid condition or basically any chronic illness, you likely have a leaky gut. And so I am always focused on trying to heal your leaky gut. And collagen is one of those things that is like, you know, uh, really super, I don't want to call it a miracle drug or something like that and getting, you know, FDA uh, non-compliance. So we'll just say it's really beneficial for those people suffering from leaky gut. So, you know, as you know, nearly 80 to uh, 60 to 80 percent of your immune system is in your gut. And so we really want to heal that leaky gut. And the villi in our gut are actually made up of collagen. So those things that are opening and closing in order to allow food in, but that in a leaky gut can inadvertently stay open, those are actually made of collagen. So when we take collagen as a supplement form, it can actually seal up those holes. It's like glue that literally glues them back together or seals them back together. Um, and it also helps in building new tissue in the gut. So it's one of my really first go-tos for healing leaky gut. So anybody out there dealing with autoimmunity, thyroid, chronic disease, leaky gut, um, definitely adding collagen in could be very helpful to heal your leaky gut. One of the other, um, and let me just pop back over to the Facebook page. Sorry that I can't have these up twice. Um, oh, we have Lori who's drinking some in her iced coffee right now. Awesome. We're going to talk about that later, how it can dissolve into hot or cold liquids. Um, Claudia is asking me to speak a little slower. I will do my best, Claudia. I get super pumped and very excited and enthusiastic and passionate about what I do. So I do speak quickly. So I will try to speak a little, a little uh, lower. Devi said that her doctor said it wasn't worth it because she has lupus. Um, I don't know of any contraindication in lupus and would definitely um, not say that it's not worth it. Likely it's a conventional physician that you're talking with. Okay, I'm going to pop back over. So um, one of the other things that you already likely know, because I mentioned it, is that, you know, taking collagen or is can be extremely helpful for um, repairing your skin, repairing uh, or building uh, hard nails, um, and also hair, getting um, hair. There are some studies that have shown that taking supplemental collagen can actually reverse hair loss. So that is a huge complaint I see and one that I get typically all the time when I'm doing a Facebook Live or my customer service is people with thyroid dysfunction um, who have hair loss going on and want to know what can they do to help slow or reverse the hair loss. And collagen is one of those things uh, that it can do. Also can help with uh, cellulite and also tightening up your skin. Again, that's when you're taking it in a supplement form. I don't know about the topical. Um, I don't know uh, about the topical forms. Okay, those of you with joint pain, if you have lupus, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, collagen can be really helpful too. So collagen is what allows your joints and your tendons and your ligaments to just move more easily. And of course, as we age, our joints naturally become more stiff and possibly even painful or swollen because we don't have all that collagen. So collagen has um, glycine and proline, which are amino acids in them that help to reduce joint pain in, and to increase the joint mobility. And of course, they also have anti-inflammatory properties, just like taking like an ibuprofen or a Motrin. So collagen is something that you can add in um, in terms of helping with joint pain um, from either, you know, regular osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or just, you know, aging if you're having some wear and tear going on uh, from that. One of the other reasons why I really like collagen, as I've already mentioned, it contains glycine and glycine can really help um, well, with a, a number of things. It's great for detoxing, but um, it can also help with converting um, energy from glucose into energy. And that means that we, you know, if you have more energy, it's going to help um, build muscle for us. And when we have more muscle, then our metabolism is going to be higher rest than if we have more fat. So we always want to make sure we have more muscle. And a way to do that is to add collagen into your diet because it's going to help you build more lean muscle. 
There are also some studies showing that it can reduce your appetite. So lately, um, since we received, we have a new collagen that I'll talk to you guys about later. Uh, I've been drinking it every morning, first thing in the morning, just literally in a cup of water. And I'll talk about that in a minute, or you can add it to hot tea. Um, but I get up and just drink a cup of collagen. And um, it's really been helpful in terms of satiating me and uh, filling me up. So anybody out there who's looking maybe to even lose some weight, it's typically not something my patients are trying to do because the diet itself does that for them. But for those of you who are looking to lose some weight, you could simply add some collagen in, um, add the protein, gonna help you build muscle, particularly when incorporated with exercise, particularly like HIIT activities. And then um, it's gonna satiate you. So there was a study showing a 20% reduction in food take following a breakfast when collagen uh, peptides were uh, introduced at breakfast. Another thing that I love about collagen is that it can help protect your heart. So it can help obliterate fat deposits in your arteries and it can help repair tissues of the arteries as well. So it, there have been some studies linking it to preventing atherosclerosis. So, you know, heart disease, particularly in women is, is a huge deal. Um, let me pop back over and see um, Allison Davis is saying nice. Her sister's shedding hair, so she's hoping that will help her out. Um, we have, uh, let's see, I just will check into some people who, um, who are just saying hi. We have Tessa, we have Louise, uh, we have my husband Javier joined. Uh, we have Karen Kennedy from Ontario, hello. Uh, Marie's asking how beautiful Elle is. She's amazing. So I'm hoping that she'll get to come tell you guys hello at the end. Mary from uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Leanne from El Paso, we have uh, let's see who else we have. Um, we have Elvin from Sweden. Hi from Sweden. I'm so glad we're doing these in the afternoon. Some people ask and we do them in the afternoon really so that people um, from all over the world or some parts of the world outside the United States can tune in because we also got feedback from a lot of people that when we do these that um, they'd have to watch the replay and they wouldn't get to ask their questions. All right, so two more things that I wanna to talk to you about collagen and why it's so beneficial is for bone formation. So as we age, you know, particularly us women, um, you know, we have to worry about osteopenia and osteoporosis these days for a lot of people. So um, our bones are actually a third made of collagen. So it really gives them their flexibility. And so um, they're constantly turning over. And when we add in collagen, then it's gonna help increase the uh, bone mineral density. And that there've been several studies that show that osteoporosis can be prevented and sometimes even reversed just by adding in um, collagen. So those of you who all who have osteopenia or osteoporosis, adding in collagen could be a really wonderful thing for you to do as well. And then one of my other favorites besides healing a leaky gut, which is my number one favorite. Um, my second favorite is that it helps improve detoxification. So remember, I mentioned to you glycine, one of the main amino acids found in collagen, really is helpful for detoxification. It helps our liver um, detoxify from toxins. And, um, you know, actually at, at per various periods in my life have taken glycine in and of itself um, just to help my liver detoxify, and, but also to help me get to sleep. So before I found the amber glasses that we now carry and the melatonin that we carry that have been game changers for me, and I'm going to be doing some Facebook lives and more information about that, um, although they are available on my website now, we haven't really done any big promotions surrounding them. But if you haven't heard me talk about amber glasses, I talk about it in both of my books. So before I found those two things, I was using glycine pretty regularly to help me sleep. So it's very calming. It actually has a really sweet taste to it. And it, like I said, can help you sleep. Um, but it also, the main thing that it does is helps with liver detoxification. So you guys... Um, you know, of course, might be wondering, well, how can you get more collagen into your diet? Well, bone broth, you've probably heard tons of information. I talk about it. I recommend it in both my books. Drinking bone broth in the morning or twice a day, every day can be extremely helpful. It's very high in collagen. 
But a lot of people, um, you know, it can be expensive if you're getting a really high quality one um, over the counter. If you're buying one, there are a lot of companies coming online these days selling bone broth and they can be amazing, but you want to make sure you're getting, getting grass fed, pasture raised, and that could be really expensive when somebody's making that for you. So you can, of course, make it yourself and, um, you know, you can throw it all in the crock pot. And for some people, that's going to be super easy and they can do that every day. And for other people, that's going to be really time consuming. So um, a really good way is, of course, to just add it in as a supplement form. Now, for me, finding a really high quality um, collagen powder was pretty difficult. You know, I was really picky. I wanted it to be grass fed. I wanted it to be pasture aged non-GMO, of course, gluten-free. So we finally, um, since I, you know, I had one that I was using, we're having problems with that supplier. And so we finally got our own in today that I have formulated and it's right here. Um, and uh, it's called you know, the Myers Way Collagen Protein. And it's super easy. I just want to show you guys how super easy it is. Um, the, the formula that I have here, um, first of all, has 12 grams uh, per serving of protein in it. And you can add it to a hot cup of tea and just mix it in and it will dissolve completely. And the proteins, I mean, if you're, you don't, you definitely don't want to like make your tea and stick it in the microwave. You want to make your, make your tea, have it sitting there and then add the collagen in because it's super high heat. I suppose you could alter the molecular structure of the proteins. And we of course do not want to do that. Um, or you can simply add it into room temperature or even cold. One of the women was saying that she was drinking it with her iced coffee. So, you know, I just take a scoop of it here. Sorry, you can't quite see me. Um, I'll add a heaping teaspoon into this water, mix it in. You know, it really dissolves well and it's completely tasteless. So really you know, completely, it, it looks cloudy here, but it completely dissolves. It has absolutely no taste whatsoever to it. And so it's great because you can either drink it like that or you can add it, like other people were saying, into their iced coffee, um, into, you know, for me, I don't drink coffee. So I use dandy tea and make a fake iced coffee and you can add it there. I love adding it in even just as an extra boost into my smoothies every day when I make one of the Myers Way Paleo Protein smoothies, if I want an even extra boost, then I'll add it in uh, in there as well. So um, I'm about to get to y'all's questions here in one quick second, but what I did want to tell you is that the, as I already mentioned, the collagen protein powder that we have now is grass fed, is pasture raised, it's 100% GMO uh, free, and it's kosher approved on all the Myers Way protocols, has 12 grams of collagen peptides per serving. You can, I mean, I don't think you can overdo it unless maybe you have kidney issues where you have to be concerned about your proteins, but I recommend one, uh, you know, one tablespoon to two tablespoons a day, an easy way to do that. You can do it all at once, or you can do one in the morning, one at night. I like doing one in the morning, just with, like I said, water in the morning, rehydrate me, get, get me satiated, get me some protein since I've been, you know, without food all night. And then I like doing it in a cup of hot tea, uh, before I go to bed. So that's how I personally use it. Um, and so today as an introductory offer for all of you guys who are watching up through Friday at midnight, you can get 15% off if you want to take advantage of ordering, uh, the Myers way collagen, uh, protein. So all you have to do is go to Amy MD. So A M Y M D dot I O backslash collagen C O L L A G E N. And my staff will put the link. Um, so you'll start seeing, um, as I do more Facebook lives, you'll start seeing these short links from us. So you don't have to remember a lot of stuff. And my little code is amymd.io. Uh, we tried for just Amy, but that was already gone. So amymd.io backslash collagen. Okay, so let's get to some questions. And let me just pop back over to the Facebook page real quick. Um, uh so Tassa, what did I say that helps with sleep? It's the glycine part of, uh, it's one of the amino acids found in collagen or just glycine. But also what I mentioned was amber glasses and also um, melatonin. We have a sustained melatonin that comes out in two bursts. So it only, not only puts you to sleep, but it keeps you asleep. Um, so, okay. So here we go. Let's get into, so my staff wrote down some of the questions and then I'll also try to 
pop back over and pick out some myself. So, um, so yes, Lorna, you have the top question that I get, get asked a million times with collagen, and I'm sorry I was going to beat you to it and already address this particular one. Uh, so do you have recommendations for scleroderma? Um, so, uh, well, let's see. Um, the only outside collagen I introduce in my body is with light therapy. Um, so I'm not sure how you're getting uh, collagen. I think if you're doing light therapy, then it's helping your body stimulate to produce more collagen. And if your body, um, and if your body is potentially attacking your collagen, if you feel that's helpful for you, you know, I don't know a lot about light, light therapy. I actually had this question asked of me yesterday uh, from one of my uh, patients and I, I don't know a lot about light therapy. However, um, there is no contraindication to be taking, you know, what we say exogenous or outside supplemental form of collagen for those with scleroderma. So I don't know of any contraindication. I've not seen it be a problem. I've talked with my colleagues. They haven't seen it on a problem. Uh, they have not seen it as a problem either. Linda, is collagen okay on a low histamine diet? So you have to try that out. You know, some people um, uh, do just fine with it. I had issues with histamine and I didn't have any problems taking collagen. You know, some people do have problems when they're doing the bone broth itself. Um, because, you know, of all the different other amino acids and the histamines in the meat. So you might find that you can do bone broth, but you can't do the collagen, or you might find you can do the collagen, but you can't do the bone broth. You might find that you can't do either of them. So that's one of those uh, ones with a low histamine diet that you really need to try out for yourself and see if you have any issues with it. I personally, when I had to be on a low histamine diet, didn't have any issues with taking collagen. So Lisa, is the Myers Way collagen also soy and dairy free? Yes, that's a great question. All of my supplements are dairy free and soy free, um, egg free, corn free, and uh, gluten free, unless otherwise indicated. Now we have about, I think a total of four supplements out of, I don't know, a hundred that we sell that have a trace amount of dairy and that's the immune booster and a trace amount of soy which would be the um, curcumin phytozyme. And it's not typically the part of the protein that causes people problems. Um, it's just a uh, part in order, at least with the, uh, with the curcumin, um, it's, it's a soy derivative to allow it to penetrate into the cell. But you have to be super, super sensitive to soy. I mean, we only literally have seen a few people ever have problems with that. So you can always be assured that even if I don't say it, all of my supplements are corn-free, dairy-free, uh, soy-free, uh, gluten-free, and egg-free unless mentioned. The enzymes, um, not the chewables, but the oral enzymes, the capsule enzymes have a derivative from egg. Again, typically not a protein that people have problems with, but we indicate that on my website. So you can be rest assured, literally I think there are three supplements that I just mentioned that have one of the derivatives of those, but otherwise um, you can be assured that it's always allergy free of all the top allergens. Um, Sophie, do you ship to the United Kingdom? Yes, we do. We ship all, all over the world. We ship worldwide. Um, okay. Uh, so, okay. Um, so Dorothy, are there any known benefits during pregnancy and can you take while pregnant? I think the, um, you know, rather than known benefits of pregnancy, is there any harm in pregnancy? And I don't know any harm in pregnancy while taking collagen. You know, this is something that your body is naturally producing. You know, if you are, um, if you are, low or like in your 30s going into your 40s, you're already likely turning over more collagen than your body can can produce. Um, so, um, so Nicola, do you recommend it with breast cancer patients? Um, okay, so, um, before I answer that question, I'm getting something from my staff. Um, can I clarify that this is an exclusive offer is an automatically applied and no need for a code. So when you use that code, the amymd.io backslash collagen, it automatically gives you the 15% off. So you do not need to put in a coupon code. So this is something exclusive to you guys watching today 
with the Facebook Live. So I really wanted to pass this on. This is a new product for us. We literally just got it in stock today. We were, you know, crossing our fingers and praying that it would arrive since we had already sent out all the information about the Facebook Lives and thankfully it did. So um, this is something I just, you know, we're trying it out. Well, we're we're all trying it for the first time. I got an early bottle of it, um, but otherwise my staff hasn't even seen it yet. So we are, um, this is brand new. And so I wanted to have an introductory offer for all of you guys who've been so kind and supportive and following me on Facebook and um, reading the newsletters and whatnot. So this is just for you guys. Okay, uh, like and share this if you want, pass it on to other people who you think would be interested in the benefits of collagen. If you're just joining us now, I've already gone through seven benefits of collagen. So you, this will be up on the Facebook page. We'll also email this out later. So you will, um, you know, if you're just joining us, you can go back and listen to all the benefits of collagen. So Nicola, I can't advise, you know, medically, you know, ind you know, individual advice. I don't about you and breast cancer. I don't know of any contraindication with breast cancer and collagen. Um, yeah. So, uh, so, um, um, so when I've tried collagen in the past, I get cold sores, which I read is from the arginine lysine ratio. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I there are studies out there, not with collagen, but with people who do get outbreaks of um, so herpes outbreaks, whether that's a, a you know a cold sore on your mouth or um, you know or labial uh, outbreak um, that that can happen in general when you're eating a lot of foods that are high in arginine. You can certainly counteract that by taking more lysine. Um, I haven't really found that to be an issue in general with people with. Uh, taking collagen. So, um, so, you know, I think, you know, the, I'd really, what I'd be focusing on here is, you know, why are you having these? Is, are you stressed? Do you have a leaky gut? Um, you know, and, and, the, and the herpes virus is getting through and stimulating your immune system. What's going on? So I think um, I would try adding in more lysine and see if that counteracts it for you. Um, Allison, is it better to take at bedtime or does it really matter? Uh, so, well, um, I mean, I don't think that it has glycine in it. I think if you're going to try to use glycine in the collagen for sleep, um, you're better off taking more glycine because the concentration of glycine in here is, um, you know, it's not really going to put you to sleep. So I would say that is it better to take it at bedtime? I think you can take it whenever you want. It's kind of one of those things, you know, what's the best blender to use? The one you're going to use. What's the best stress relief technique? The one you're going to use. So when is the best time to take collagen? Whenever you're going to take it. There's not really a good time. It doesn't really matter if it's, you know, by itself on an empty stomach, if it's, if it's you know, added into a smoothie or something. I mean, certainly if you're taking it just in tea or, you know, in a cup of water like I have here. See, it's all, I don't know if you can see that, but completely dissolved now. This is the water that I added the collagen in. In fact, I have another cup of water over here and I had to kind of look at the two and this one had less water in it. So that's how I know it's this one. I'm gonna take a sip actually. Um, <clears throat> so uh, what I was gonna say is, if you're taking it in just water, it's going to be more absorbed because it's not competing with anything else. When you add it into a smoothie and you have other protein or you have fruits and vegetables and all that other stuff, you know, all that stuff needs to be digested. When you're, when you're taking it here in a cup of water, it's not really competing and nothing else needs to be digested there. So I would say that it's probably more readily absorbed if you take it in tea or water or just in a plain liquid rather than adding it to a smoothie or, you know, excuse me, adding it into food. I mean, theoretically, you could stir it into a cup of soup if you wanted to do that, um, but then it's going to be competing with all that other food that you're eating. So I think if you want the most absorption, it's probably best to kind of do as a cup of water or tea or something like that. Um, so, uh, so, um, how many ounces in a container? Um, so there are 38 uh, servings in a container. It's a good thing I can read that. 
So one scoop and there's uh, 38. So if you do one a day, this will last you a little over um, 16 ounces or 38 servings. So this will last you a little over a month if you do it once a day. If you're doing it twice a day, it's gonna last you, you know, about uh, 20 days. So, okay. So uh, Jacqueline, will it help with fibromyalgia and muscle pain? Um, so I think that it can aid with those things. And, you know, if you're having fibromyalgia and muscle pain, and if you have not already followed the program and the autoimmune solution, I would highly recommend that. And of course, I incorporate collagen and bone broth, you know, in uh, both of those in that book and the thyroid connection as well. Um, so Tom, I'm struggling with autoimmune inflamed kidneys. Can I consume this as well? You can, I would just definitely be chatting with your room, uh, with your nephrologist, if that's who you're seeing about how much protein you can consume in a day. I mean, this is really, collagen's different than eating a steak because you're getting you know, all the other um, amino acids and the, and the proteins need to be broken down. This is almost not quite as close to like free form amino acids, which should be much uh, more readily and easily absorbed by your kidneys. But those with kidney issues do need to be concerned about the amount of protein. So you would need to chat with your doctor or, of course, chat with um, my wellness coach or nutritionist, um, Dana, about, um, you know, helping you uh, uh, personally. So um, Danielle Corrick. Hey, Danielle. So good to see you on here. I haven't seen you in so long. Love to see you and the girls. Um, she said she's excited to try this. Thanks. Um, I have uh, somebody asking if I do uh, consultations. I don't personally do online consultations right now. I have quite a long waiting list for patients. So um, my registered dietitian, Dana, is doing a wellness coaching, which is about as close as you can get to doing a consultation with me. She's really great. We have a place we can refer you to to get some labs. She can go over that with you. So we'll put the link if anybody's interested in wellness coaching. Um, and also um, we have lots of programs. I don't know if you guys know, but I have the autoimmune solution as a six week program, uh, online program that uh, walks you through the autoimmune solution program. And then of course, um, I have the autoimmune solution book, which is now in paperback. So it's like less than $10 on Amazon. Uh, if you are out of the country book depository, I don't know if you can see in the back, but the uh, autoimmune solution has been translated into about eight different languages. Pretty cool to see the one in Taiwanese up at the top. Apparently it was like a top hitter, um, you know, equivalent to the New York Times bestseller in uh, Taiwan. So that was pretty exciting and fun. And then of course the thyroid connection. So there's a lot of ways to get help. And then if you're not on my newsletter, signing up for my newsletter because we have free articles that go out every week, recipes, um, you know, discounts on supplements, things like that. So there are a lot of ways that I try to give back uh, and offer free um, or very inexpensive, you know, through books and things like that, uh, programs to help you guys. So, um, so, um, so Lilana has leaky gut and is gluten intolerant. Uh, this product will be perfect for you. And so will many of my programs. Um, so Kelly's asking how soon should someone start to see the difference in symptoms, leaky gut, hair, and nails? Well, it's all different. So our nails um, and our hair and our skin, um, or at least our hair, you know, can take three months to turn over. So sometimes you feel like I'm not seeing anything, uh, but then all of a sudden you see it. So certainly if you're somebody who's losing hair, you might not see that it's stopping, but you might notice that you have more hair growth suddenly. Um, or it takes a while for our nails to grow out, our skin to turn over. So those take longer. Our gut cells though can turn over in 40, 24 to 48 hours. So, I mean, you know, you might begin to see um, improvements right away. So some people uh, can't tell that they have a leaky gut. So you might not actually notice anything, whereas other people might have digestive issues in addition to their leaky gut. And then they, of course, you know, can actually notice or feel something uh, you know, by healing their gut. 
So let me see if there are, um, oh, and what else I wanted to say, um, Beverly, does it help fibromyalgia and dry eyes? So what I would wonder is if you have ever been checked for something called Sjogren's, which is an autoimmune condition that causes dry eyes. Um, so things that I think, um, so yes, it could help fibromyalgia. I would definitely be following the program and the autoimmune solution. And um, I would definitely be adding in fish oils for your dry eyes and make sure you're staying really well hydrated. Um, so I don't know about collagen specifically for dry eyes. There are a few other things that come to my mind first. Um, so a few other things that I wanted to say to you guys. Um, I have been challenged with trying to do more Facebook Lives uh, and maybe doing more, but not um, as in depth. So maybe just hopping on for 10 or 15 minutes, even five sometimes just to answer questions. So what I'd love you to do if you don't have any more questions about collagen is put, you know, maybe write FB or um, FB colon and then your question of what you'd like me to answer in a future Facebook Live. So I'm going to try to um, get something set up. I don't know that I can, can commit to the exact same time every day, but I'm going to try to get some really short Facebook Live set up rather than these hour long things. We'll still do these hour long ones where we can go more in depth into a certain topic, but I'd love to kind of answer quick questions for people. So um, please know that when you're putting this in, I cannot offer specific medical advice. Please, as much as I'd love to hear all about um, you know, your personal condition and, you know, the ins and outs and how long and how, how long that I can't answer personal questions. So if you have a, a general question, like is collagen okay to take with scleroderma? How long does it take to heal my gut? How do I know when my gut is healed? Things like that. Those would be great questions to ask me and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, either we'll bundle a few of them together and answer them, or if it's long enough, I can, you know, spend more time answering them. So if you just put Facebook and then a colon and then ask your question, we'll know that that's for a future Facebook Live. And I'd love to be able to answer those. We're also going to start doing something called the Myers Medical Minute. And uh, we'll be asking for questions there, too. So if you want to put MM um, and then colon, and that will be your question for a future Myers Medical Minute. So if you want to put those down in the comments below, my staff will know. They'll get those off of the Facebook Live after this is over. Uh, and even if you're watching this as a replay and it's not live, you're still welcome to add those questions down below. And, um, and we'll you guys will be notified when I start doing even more regular Facebook lives. So just real quick to recap before, and then I'll answer a few more questions and then I'll bring in our, my little guest of honor, um, that um, what we've been talking about today is collagen. And I have released today, um, my staff hasn't even gotten a bottle of it yet, but the collagen protein powder that I formulated because I was having a really hard time finding a really high quality. So this is grass-fed, pasture-raised beef. It's non-GMO, that's really hard to find. Um, it's of course kosher, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, corn-free, everything free, except for it is not vegan. <laughs> it is uh, filled with beef protein. And, um, and right now, if you guys enter between now and Friday evening, uh, we have a code, which is a, excuse me, Amy MD, A M Y M D dot I O backslash collagen, C O L L A G E N. And you'll get 15% off between now and Friday at midnight. Um, and you do not need to add in any extra code for that. That will automatically give you the discount. That's a special code that we're only giving to you right now on the Facebook Live. That's not a code we've given out anywhere else. So that will automatically give you your um, that will automatically give you your discount. So does uh, does uh, does it help with? Hashimoto's. So I like to think of things about, um, I like to think about um, things as a one-to-one, -one. does something help one-to-one -to, -one to help something or is it a secondary correlation? So in terms of a one-to-one -one correlation, um, or let me just say in terms of a one-to-two correlation or a two-to-two -two correlation, maybe I'm not speaking right, I'm not really sure, but um, it helps heal your leaky gut, which is going to help heal your Hashimoto's. I mean, that is one of the absolute first steps in healing your Hashimoto's is to heal your leaky gut. So, um, 
So definitely super helpful there. It also helps to uh, reduce inflammation, which is going to help with um, with Hashimoto's, but I don't know of a one-to-one, -one, like taking collagen, you know, decreases antibodies. Like I know taking 200 micrograms of selenium, like found in the Myers way multivitamin that I also had to formulate because I could not find a multivitamin that had everything that I needed for somebody with thyroid dysfunction and autoimmunity. So there are studies showing that just taking 200 micrograms of selenium by itself will, um, will uh, decrease your Hashimoto's antibodies. So I don't know of anything like that with collagen, but I do know that it's gonna help to heal your leaky gut. And I do know that it's going to, um, that it's gonna help decrease inflammation. And those two things are, are definitely going to, um, to help your Hashimoto's. And of course, if you haven't, um, definitely you'll want to follow the program in my book the uh, autoimmune, I mean, the thyroid connection. So again, before I, uh, before I go, um, if you're interested in the collagen, uh, it's amymd.io backslash collagen up through midnight, uh, uh, Friday night, you'll get 15% off. If you're interested in me answering a question on a future Facebook Live, if you could put FB colon and whatever your question is. If you're interested in me answering a question um, in a video later for the Myers Medical Minute, then just put MM colon. And I have uh, our special guest is now arriving to come and say hello to everybody. She's looking like, what's going on? So here is our special guest, Miss Little L. Can you say hi, everybody? Can you see how big I am? See, I love checking in with you guys every week or so. Yeah. Okay, everybody, y'all have a wonderful afternoon. I'm going to go squeeze this little munchkin for a while because I haven't seen her. Mocha's now come in. You can't see her, but she's right below me. She gets jealous and needs to be around L at all times. Mocha, if I could pick you up, I would. She's right below my feet saying, Mom, can you pick me up too? Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you being here today. I appreciate you taking your health into your own hands, being your own health advocate. And um, don't forget to like and share this, pass it on, and also enter those questions to be answered on a future Facebook Live. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.